Welcome to part 2 the tutorial how to calculate a vertical wind turbine. In this video you will see, first, how to creating mesh for CFX in a module ANSYS meshing. Second, how to set up boundary conditions in ANSYS CFX, and to perform calculation. Third, we will perform to create it of visualization, and to perform calculation of power our turbine. So, let's open ANSYS workbench, and to make import our geometry. Now connect a module advances meshing, and opening it. Here we must call of our boundaries. You can to call them how you want. But better to repeat after me. So, now come on to start set up the grid. For economy time, we will use unstructured mesh, which to consist of tetrahedrons. How you can see, number of elements of mesh very big, so we will less sizing of grid element. As our flow is turbulent, we can to describe to boundary layer with help of prism layers of grid. In detail you can to learn this in help of ANSYS. Let's repeat what we did before, for stator.
Okay, now we are opening CFX in to create boundary condition and set up calculation. Calculation for a wind turbine we will be performing in the transient solver. We are defining a constant speed how to 100 revolutions per minute. Because we don't know moment on electric generator and general losses.
this graph you can see value power on a shaft of rotor. So, because we don't design of blades now we have a small power which our turbine to produce. Now let's open to CFD post, where I will show you how to create animation as at first of this tutorial.